Oh, yes, we are back in business, baby. So I already opened this up off camera. I couldn't wait, okay, I could not wait. But check it out from Carbon Creator. We are back in business, baby. Look at that, the input for the Aventador Roaster. That's the real deal carbon fiber, Oscar. Look at that. It looks brand new. It honestly looks better than new. If you guys remember, we kind of had a mishap. We're going to stick with the mishap. The end plate basically fell off the car, off the wing. It was completely destroyed, but Rob at Carbon created like, this thing looks incredible. Look at it in the sunshine. It is just like, it is brand new. That is glistening. What? And just like that, we're back, baby. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and welcome back, folks. Today's video is gonna be crazy. We got so much to do. The bug killer, the Nissan GTR bug killer, Godzilla, is getting girthy today. The Veyron to the moon. And when I say the moon, I mean central Idaho. Trust me, it'll make sense. Central Idaho, I, trust me later on in today's video, but the heavy artillery has arrived to the dream house. The cranes have arrived. The steel's being craned in today. We're back, baby, we're back. There's sort of two outcomes at play. Come on, baby, come on, come on. There it is. It is happening today. You see that steel right there? That cost me $40,000. That steel, those steel beams, 40 grand. We got here just right on time. Check this out. So we're creating this massive steel beam into the back cave. I have no idea what this thing weighs. Goodness, this is so insane. These beams weigh 4,800 pounds each, almost 10,000 pounds between the two of them. So we got all these other steel beams right here. So these two right here are kind of got kind of a jigsaw right there to right there. And then the other four pieces, one's gonna connect right there, right there, something like that. I honestly don't know what we're doing, but uh, we're gonna watch the professionals do what they're good at. This project is just too easy for these guys. I can't even keep up. So check this out guys, since December, the price of steel has gone up roughly from 34 cents a pound to 75 cents a pound. And we probably have like, I don't know, 30,000 pounds. We've had some beautiful moments on the channel, but I reckon this might be the most beautiful moment of them all. Craning in the steel for the back cave. Sun is just glistening. really drop this bombshell but I have officially decided to sell the test the main reason I had a build plan for it but then we got a NASCAR I don't know if you can see we have a NASCAR I'm getting so excited about the house build it is coming together so well to see those steel beams craned in like that overlaying the back cave so in two weeks they're gonna lay down the concrete slabs and then I think we can start framing so exciting and on that bombshell I'm excited to announce today's video has been sponsored by ShipStation So about three years ago I decided that I wanted to start selling the Strad merch and it was so much fun setting up my very own online store with my own website domain Coming up with new products new designs and you guys supported me so much and I cannot thank you guys enough for your continued support But there was so much demand that shortly thereafter I realized I was completely in over my head I couldn't keep up with the shipping. And about a year and a half ago, I made a decision that completely revolutionized the brand. I started working with ShipStation. Now maybe you have an Amazon or like an Etsy or your own website. With ShipStation, you can actually funnel all of your sales from all your various sales channels into one simple interface that you can manage on your cell phone from anywhere in the entire world. Maybe you ship out five packages a week or maybe you ship out 5,000 packages a week. Either way, anywhere in between, ShipStation is gonna help you ship out your product quicker, more efficiently, and cheaper. And with ShipStation, you get access to deeply discounted shipping rates with all the major carriers. I'm talking USPS, UPS, and FedEx. Usually these shipping rates are reserved for Fortune 500 companies. And with ShipStation, you get the rates, but you don't have to deal with the contracts or the commitments. Guys, ShipStation is here to help you build your business. You can focus on growing your business, and ShipStation can worry about the shipping logistics. And it's really just that easy. Ship more in less time using ShipStation. Using my offer code Stratman, you guys can get a 60-day free trial. That's two months free of hassle-free, stress-free shipping. Go to ShipStation.com, click on the microphone at the top of the page, type in Stradman, and make ship happen. Guys, check out the link below, ShipStation.com. So quick update on the NASCAR. We can't get the car started quite yet. We have some 100 octane gas on order. It should be here in a couple days, and then it should start right up, but we got to move the Mercy Log. So now we need to get the Bugatti out of the garage, and yes, I have to access the driver's seat through the passenger door. It's not really the prettiest maneuver, but it's kind of like this. I know this is a weird angle, but I just want to give you guys the full perspective. All right, 
We're good, that was easy. So I want to share a brief story time. The OGs of the OGs. I'm talking like the original squad. I had maybe 3,000 subscribers back in the day when I filmed this video almost seven years ago. So I was up at the Sun Valley Tour de Force. So there were six Bugatti Veyrons testing their theoretical top speed. I filmed a video of a Veyron Supersport going 246 miles an hour. The video did a million views in less than 24 hours. It was on the front page of Yahoo. It was my first viral video. It was kind of my breakthrough into the YouTube world. Well, next weekend, boys, is the Sun Valley Tour de Force. We have gone full circle we're running the Veyron. So two years ago, I ran the Aventador Coupe and we did 210 miles an hour. One of the craziest experiences of my entire life. I'm gonna link that video in the description below. Go check it out. I think in the Veyron, maybe we can do 230. It's a simple pop into sport mode. Let the turbo spool and hit it. Go, 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 go. <laughs> oh, baby, it's so fast. Why is my voice squeaking? Because I'm excited. There's just like nothing like a Bugatti. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I can't wait. 230 miles an hour is gonna be terrifying, but now the downfall is right? That is the coolest track hawk I've ever seen in my entire life. Wide bodied on air ride. We got the NSX, the GTR. That track hawk's insane. And just like that, welcome to the inner vault here at Envision. <laughs> the last time I saw you, I didn't make fun of your new hairdo. Let's see no. that. Let's see that, bro. Mullets are back in they're, style. They're coming back. Are you kidding me? If today's video gets 145,000, no, 245,000 likes, I'll grow a mullet. Deal? I'm, I'm keeping you to that. 245, baby, 245. Guys, check this ghost out. Envision just installed the Starlight Headline. What do you guys think? Should I get one of those on the Veyron? I'm not gonna do it on the Veyron, but what else could we put it on? That is so sick. This is an aftermarket Starlight Headliner, and then we got the Cullinan with the orange interior. Are you kidding me? That is so sick. And then we have the Rolls-Royce OEM Starlight Headliner. Honestly, they look so close to the same, but that orange interior is so sick. Are you kidding me? This guy, I haven't seen him. He always finds a way to make it on the channel. Unbelievable. Mr. 360C. Can I just have this whole thing? Yeah, these Wait. are all yours. I'm not supposed to show that. I just realized I have no special features. I am bland. I'm so boring. Like, if Naderade had one, we'd have a mullet. Mullet? That would be easy. We got Mikey that, with his me. beautiful black beard. <laughs> we got Josh with the gorgeous ginger beard. Unbelievable. I need better features. Sid, we were looking at stickers for 35 seconds, and all the wheels are mounted. What do you guys think? The OEM wheels, I think they look pretty cool. The purple's a different look for sure. But, like I said, these tires and wheels are rated for 250 miles an hour. Come on, bro, get it, get it, get it. My life is in your hands right now. My life is in these torque wrenches right now. If I lose a wheel at 250, that's it? That's all I got? Wow. He's like, bro, please leave my workshop. <laughs> Just kidding. Sven and I have been friends for a long time. So once again, a massive shout out to the boys here at Envision for mounting the OEM tires and wheels. I think they look pretty good with the white. I love the design of these and they're rated for that top speed. The last thing we want at 200 miles an hour is a blowout and these are not gonna blow out. They match the dirt. Wow. <laughs> Unbelievable. You know how to wash a car. Do I? Uh, no. You smell like my car. I gotta admit, I'm getting kind of nervous about Sun Valley. 230 miles an hour is no joke. Oh my goodness, to the moon! Like I said, we're going to the moon. Whoa, okay, whoa, whoa. <laughs> we're in Mexico, welcome to Guadalajara. The first thing you say to me before you say hello, hello. is I'm letting all the cold air well, out. It's getting hot here, man. I know, it's like so. a thousand degrees. Uh, I'm working on getting air conditioning, and when I say working on it, it's probably never gonna happen, so. Uh. But the bumpers are great. I don't know how I forgot this, and I wish Stefan was here, but Stefan is frolicking around the streets of New York City, getting hit by taxi drivers. He bought a donk. Stefan bought a donk, and this is it. Check that out. It's got 20, where is Stefan? Is Stefan home? Stefan might be home. I'm gonna call Stefan. Stefan, my guy. <laughs> there has been this elephant in the room that I've been wanting to share with the viewers. Yes. You have done it. I've Hot done chili it. dog, he's done it. He's Hot donked chili it. dog. That yes. Good. Yes. Bro, a Buick Roadmaster with 28s. I know. I got you a gift. You did? But I don't have it with me. I know. Oh my God. This guy's been, I haven't seen you in forever. Have you guys been working lots of hours in the gym and you have chicken legs like me and a muffin top around the belly and you just want to look like Casey Draper? Well, you should drink volcanic Hawaiian Jeez. water. What? You're that's how he looks like this. Everybody. Oh, that's the secret stuff. That's the secret stuff. You want those calves? <laughs> you drink that water. Casey is strong. He's skilled. He doesn't sweat. It's like a, he's like a, a Superman. He told me he hasn't been to the gym in four weeks. 
I Four know. weeks. I work out every day. Linguinis. Hey. <laughs> wow. I almost just died. The test almost just killed me. Wow. Hey. You're a robot. You're not allowed to have emotion. And here we go. Peace in the GTR together. Front fender's on first. That white looks so fresh. Well, fellas, if you like beefcakes, today is your day. Check this thing out. These front fenders are so white. Also, I want to point out the door is like covered in a layer of dust. So trust us, like the paint does match. It's just covered in dirt. And you guys think I don't do anything. Look at this. The front bumper on the Darwin Pro Kit is so sick. It's my favorite part of the entire build. But you'll notice we have a little bit of a gap right there. And that's because we have this piece right here. Casey is the master at double stick tape. So a lot of this kit is actually double stick tape onto the car. There's no rev nuts. There's no hardware. It's just tape. 3M tape, nice tape. Get it, get it, use those forearms. Get it, son, oh, get it, yeah. get it. <laughs> Ayo. Oh. For the last half an hour, I've sat around and done nothing. Hot diggity dog, look at that angle. Casey just asked me if I wanted the crucial end. I was like, no, I want the dummy end, so that's what I got. <laughs> Teamwork makes the dream work, boys. We've stood at the gate of Yosemite National Park and stared deep into the cliffs of El Capitan. We've been on the Italian coastline. We've been in Dubai gazing up at the skyscrapers flying into the abyss. But I would reckon this wide-body Nissan GTR is more beautiful than all of them. Check that out. She is a girthy, girthy, girthy girl with some healthy, healthy hips. Oh, boy. Jigsaw puzzle. Bait. Look at that. Look at that. I can see you guys typing away, but before you get all wonky, we understand there's a little bit of wonk right here. But Casey's going to install a rib nut right here that's going to tie that piece in so it's as flush as a toilet flushing. Wait, what? Okay, guys, on a serious note, though, this Nissan GTR looks so sick. I am so thrilled with this wide body kit, the Darwin Pro Aero Kit. It is one of the nicest kits I have ever seen of any Nissan GTR kit. The fitment is amazing, all the integrated carbon fiber, and she is so wide. Like, look how healthy she is. Are you kidding me? That carbon fiber hood, I love this spec so much. That being said, we are gonna be wrapping it kind of sort of soon. This angle from straight on is absolutely Bonkers, that is so crazy. I've never seen wider front fenders on a wide body Nissan GTR. Now, of course, there's still a couple more things we still need to do. We have the side skirts, we've got the wide body fenders, they're on the back side of the car, and that carbon fiber wing. But I am loving this GTR. We also need to get wheels, like I mentioned. We don't have wheels, we won't for a long time. So Casey's gonna work on installing that rib nut. Casey, I appreciate you, I support you. Welcome, Even if you don't sweat, I still love you. Even though I'm a robot. <laughs> I didn't want to say it. I didn't, he hasn't worked out in four weeks. That was a good day. That was a strong day. On the drive home, I just realized I didn't do anything whatsoever. Steel beams got laid for the back cave. I didn't do that. The Vero's ready for Sun Valley. I didn't do that. And Casey's crushing on the Nissan GTR. Obviously, I didn't do that. But a good day, strong day. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did like squad, be sure to smash that like button. But just like that, this vlog is over, and I'm out.